So be sure if you're in the path of this storm to take cover here as we have this strong thunderstorm moving off to the northeast at 15 miles an hour. So at this point, we have that rotation just south of Broomfield here, and we also have the blue shaded areas here on the southwest side of that hail. So we have a big pocket of hail moving in this direction just north of Arvada, south of Superior, and moving toward I-25. So you can see this pocket of uh, hail and a thunderstorm moving off to the northeast, headed toward the Northwest Parkway and headed into Broomfield. So at this point, the tornado warning is in effect until 315. It's moving to the northeast at 15 miles an hour, which is taking it up into the Broomfield area and putting this in motion. Now, as you can see, it's been coming in from the southwest, moving off to the northeast. So in this direction, it will be affecting I-25 here in the next probably 20 minutes or so. So this is why we're keeping a very close eye on this as well, not only because of the rotation here and a possible tornado. Now this is a radar indicated tornado here from the National Weather Service. So uh, they have issued a tornado warning that includes Westminster, Thornton and Broomfield and just outside Lafayette here. So that tornado warning in effect until 315, these thunderstorms moving off to the northeast at 15 miles an hour. And we could see some flying debris with this storm with these strong winds moving through as well as a possible tornado within this storm cell moving off to the north and east. Once once again, it will be affecting potentially Westminster, North Glen and Thornton. It's just off to the northeast of Arvada. So to put in a little perspective here, I'll pull this out and you can see that um, just north of Denver is where we were seeing the rotation of this storm as it's moving off to the north and east at about 15 miles an hour. And as it moves that direction, even just south of Firestone, and north of Brighton, we could see uh, this storm continue to hold together and move that direction. So at this point, we do have uh, potential tornadic activity here in Thornton near Broomfield. The tornado warning in effect until 315. So we're keeping a close eye on this storm as it continues to push off to the north and east. But if you are in this area, especially around Broomfield and uh, moving toward Northwest Parkway here south of Lafayette. You need to take cover and if you have plans to drive, I would wait a little bit before this storm moves through. We have a large area of hail here moving south of Broomfield through just north of Westminster. So this entire area with very heavy rainfall at this point, along with hail moving through the region. Now we also have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect for the entire front range until 8 p.m. tonight as these thunderstorms have really been picking up here in the heat of the afternoon. It looks like we also have some early rotation up toward Keensburg as well. So there is a lot of energy with these storms as they're moving through the area. But at this point, this storm is just north of Thornton out toward Superior. Let me zoom in a little bit more here. You can see that just south of Broomfield here is where we have the rotation on this storm. I will take that rotation off of there so you can see exactly where this storm is uh, just south of Broomfield here as we see the rotation with the storm moving through the tornado warning in effect until 315 here and it is going to be moving over 36 here shortly as it moves off to the north and east at about 15 miles an hour and very heavy rainfall from Broomfield all the way down to just north of Arvada. So even Westminster and Thornton are under this tornado warning, but this is the cell that we're talking about here. As we go into, let's take the sweeping radar here, show you a little more detail on this storm as it's moving off to the north and east at about 15 miles an hour. So our radar showing here the intensity of this storm just south of Broomfield between Wadsworth and Sheridan here over off of uh, 86. So north of 88th and south of 128, we are dealing with the heaviest rainfall, also small hail moving through and a tornado warning. So we've been really concerned about the rotation on this storm as it continues to move off to the north and east at 15 miles an hour. So as we put this into motion here, you can see that rotation is moving as well with this storm north and east and it's headed just to the north of Thornton and as you move through this area you'll also be dealing with very heavy rainfall if you're out traveling or you have relatives that are in this area it's going to be very heavy rainfall and hail as well pushing through the region so at this point south of Lafayette 
west of Thornton. We have rotation here with this storm and you can see that the outlook for this storm as it moves off to the north and east over the next half hour is heading toward Fort Lupton. But at this point, we're watching it very carefully as it moves toward I-25 and we'll be moving over that area here in the next half hour. So we have about another half hour of this tornado warning as we are expecting rotation to continue with this storm here. It is radar indicated torn a tornadic activity and uh, it will be around the Thornton area and just northeast of Broomfield here in the next 10 minutes. Also Westminster, North Glen and Thornton are also affected by this storm and under the tornado warning. So as we zoom in a little more here, you can see that over Broomfield, we have the heaviest rainfall here to the south and we are watching this very closely as it continues to move over the area. We've had reports in those little blue dots you see are reports of hail here along um, Sheridan and Wadsworth as well, headed up toward 36 and definitely moving in the direction of I-25. So this tornado warning is in effect for this area until 315. Once again, this storm is moving off to the north and east at 15 miles an hour, so it's not moving very quickly and just to give you a little perspective here, I'll zoom this out so that you can see this is north of Denver. Uh, and we have quite a few reports now showing up of hail across the area. So even from Brighton all the way back into Broomfield and Arvada, just north of Golden, we have reports of uh, hail moving through with this storm. So there's a lot of power with this storm as it continues to move through the area. So at this point, the strongest center of this storm is just south of Broomfield, and that's where we've seen the rotation with this storm. So at this point, we're keeping a close eye on it as this tornado warning continues until 315. And once again, it's moving off to the north and east at 15 miles an hour. So it is headed toward I-25. So it will be between the Northwest Parkway and I-25 here within the next probably 15 minutes as it continues that direction. So we have some storm tracks to show you the direction that it's headed. It's actually going off toward Firestone here and you can see moving north and east, north of Thornton. And it looks like the rotation will stay out of the city of Thornton, but we're getting very heavy rain right on the cusp of the city there. And lots of hail associated with this. We have a live picture outside as well, uh, showing you that we do have very heavy rainfall pushing through and um, we are going to be seeing large hail with this storm as well. So as we go through the next 20 minutes or so, this is going to be headed toward the Northwest Parkway and just northwest of Brighton, but we're already seeing some hail out toward Brighton as well, as this is a very, very powerful storm system. And we have a couple more cells that have popped up here from Firestone out toward Hudson and into Brighton. So north of Arvada is where we have the heaviest rainfall at this point and some rotation. The tornado warning in effect until 315 and our live shot there showing the very heavy very heavy rainfall in Broomfield right on Main Street here. So as the cars continue to make their way through, there's going to be some gusty winds, some large hail, and obviously radar indicated rotation here just south of Broomfield. So we're watching this very carefully. And as you can see, not much is happening in Denver at this point. We have cloudy skies here, and then we have that tornado warning just off to the north near Thornton into Broomfield and just south of Broomfield around Sheridan and Wadsworth, we have hail reported and we also have rotation with this storm cell. And once again, it's a tornado warning in effect until 315 here for this area. You can see those darker maroon shaded areas. That's where we're seeing the hail, that's where we're seeing the very heavy rainfall and potential rotation here with this storm. And uh, this storm is moving to the northeast at 15 miles an hour and will also affect the cities of Westminster, North Glen and Thornton as it moves through the area. So uh, we've seen also traffic on 36 slow down and, and thank you very much for that shot. Oh, this is I-25 near Westminster. Uh, we've seen a lot of heavy rain moving through and of course drivers are going to slow down to accommodate for the heavy rainfall and the low visibility with that rainfall and also with the hail that's been falling. So at this point, as this storm is moving northward, it is headed to the Northwest Parkway and you can see Main Street and Broomfield here and Wadsworth 
that is the main source of the hail and heavy rain right now is everywhere that is shaded kind of that purple maroon color that is very heavy rain and possibly a tornado within this area so we have seen rotation with a storm it continues to move off to the north and east at about 15 miles an hour and so it is headed off toward washington street near thornton and north glen and it's going to be continuing to push off to the north and east, just southwest of Lafayette. So I don't think the city of Lafayette will see the bulk of this moving through. It will be between Lafayette and Brighton as we've seen that storm track take it that direction. It's continuing to hold together and move off to the northeast at 15 miles an hour. So if you are in this region, you need to take cover. There's going to be very heavy rainfall, possible rotation with a tornado here. We do have that tornado warning in effect for this area shaded in red until 3:15 this afternoon. So the storm is continuing to push off to the north and east. It's just north of Denver. Uh, to give you a little perspective here, we are in the Thornton, Lafayette, Broomfield area. The heaviest rainfall and the hail is occurring just into the Broomfield region here along Main Street. We just showed you a picture of Main Street a second ago and the heavy rain is coming down along with small hail for the area as well. And we also have reports of hail. Every single blue dot you see on here is a large hail report. So this storm has a lot of energy as it's been pushing through the area and pushing toward Firestone and Fort Lupton. So that's a little ways out because this storm is moving very slowly. So at this point, our main concern concern is definitely Broomfield and pretty much downtown Broomfield is where we have the heaviest rainfall and the center of this storm as it's pushing north and east. And now we're starting to see the front edge of that move over I-25 here and it is going to continue on that northeastward trek. But it stretches all the way back south of Broomfield toward 36. So we've had a slowdown there as well, thanks to just the low visibility. You know how it is when you're driving through very heavy rainfall and hail as well, and perhaps uh, some very gusty winds along with potential tornadic activity. So this is a situation where you do need to take cover if you are in this shaded area. I'll take the uh, radar off just for a second so that you can see where exactly the um, the warning is, this is the tornado warning. It stretches from Broomfield to Westminster into Thornton. And then once we put this back on with the radar, you can see that there's also very large hail here just west of I-25. Everything's shaded in this blue. That's hail. So we have very strong thunderstorm activity here with the potential for a tornado as we've seen rotation here with the storm as it's moving through. And we also have this tornado warning in effect until 315. So as it makes its way northeastward, it's also been dumping hail across the area. And you can see two more reports of hail just west of I-25 here. And the large hail continues to move along with this storm. And now it looks like it's moving much more intensely over I-25 now, so affecting the traffic along the interstate here between North Glen and the Northwest Parkway. 